Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making a pizza pot pie inspired by the one created at the Chicago Pizza and Oven Grinder Company based in Chicago, Illinois. The ingredients we're going to need for our sauce are a 28 ounce can of crushed and diced tomatoes. I've got one in medium onion that I finely diced. I've got a cup of stick pepperoni that I've cubed up. I've got three-fourths of a cup of red, yellow, and orange bell peppers, and I've got two cloves of garlic. And you're also going to need some pizza spices. Today I'm using my favorite, which are Pinsies, but any pizza spices will do, or you can create your own combination. It'll all work. All right, guys, let's get moved over to my stove, and we'll get our sauce started. All right, now that we are over at my stove, we're going to go ahead and start our sauce, and I'm going to start that off by adding in my pepperoni. And I'm going to allow this to saute and render out the oils in it for about 10 minutes. Our pepperoni has been rendering for almost 10 minutes. You can see it's already started rendering out some of the oils from it and it's starting to get a little crispy. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my onions and my peppers. And then I'm going to let this saute until our onions are translucent. Our onions have started to soften up, so I'm going to go ahead and add a teaspoon of my pizza seasoning spice as well as my garlic. And I'm going to let this cook for just about 30 seconds, just until it's well incorporated. And then we're going to add in our can of tomatoes. Okay, I think that is pretty good, yeah? Alright, we're going to dump in our whole entire can of tomatoes. The last thing I'm going to add to this is a little bit of salt, a little bit more, there we go, and some black pepper. And then I'm going to let this sit here and simmer uncovered for about 15 to 20 minutes until our sauce starts to thicken up and reduce. After it reaches that point, I'm going to set it into a, on the counter and let it cool down to room temperature before we start assembling our pot pies. Alright guys, our sauce has cooled down and it is finally time to assemble our pizza pot pies. The rest of the ingredients we're going to need are 10 slices of mozzarella cheese. Then you want to either get a whole milk or a low moisture mozzarella for this. And I've also got two slices of provolone cheese. I've got eight button mushrooms. I've got some banana peppers, which I love in pizza, but you know, these are totally optional. In fact, all the ingredients that go into the filling can actually be customized to your taste. Same with the sauce, and if you don't want pepperoni in it, you could certainly add a pound of ground sausage into it and brown it up and then cook it just the exact same way that I did. You're also going to need pizza dough. Today I'm using my roasted garlic and mushroom pizza dough. I'll leave a link down in the description to it, as well as to my plain pizza dough. Either one of those will work, or if you don't want to take the time to make your own, you can certainly use a store-bought pizza dough. The first thing we need to do is bring in our ramekin, and I'm going to generously butter the inside of it just so this will release once it comes out of the oven. And I also want to butter the outside of our dish because our pizza crust is going to be forming over the edge, and we want to be able to release it once it's out of the oven. Alright guys, the first thing we're going to do is start with our mozzarella cheese and I'm going to start lining the inside of my dish with it. You want to make sure you go all the way around. There we go. I've got five slices of mozzarella in there and then I'm going to drop my provolone right down into the center. The next thing I'm going to do is add a few of my banana peppers. The next thing to go in are our mushrooms and I'm just going to drop four of those straight into the center. I'm going to do that for both of my dishes. There we go. And then we're going to top it with our sauce. There we go. That looks incredible already. Let's get this second one done. And then we're going to divide up our dough and roll it out so it'll fit evenly over the top of our dishes. All right, guys. Let's get our dough divided and rolled out. This might actually be a little bit more than what I need, but you can roll this out however you want. 
make it as thick or as thin as you want it but you do want a little bit of an edge hanging over the side because that's what's going to form our our bowl of once it comes out of the oven all right guys let's go ahead and get this little baby topped up and i'm just going to press my dough against the ramekin so it helps form a seal and again that butter that we put on the edge is going to help this release once we get it baked there's our first one let's get our second one done all right guys the last thing i'm going to do before i put these in the oven is lightly brush them with a little bit of garlic infused olive oil i have all this left over from making my homemade roasted garlic and it tastes so incredible and it really adds a big punch of flavor to all of your food. All right, let me get these completely coated and then we'll get these in the oven. All right guys, I've got these completely brushed in olive oil. Now I'm gonna put them into a 400 degree oven where they're gonna bake for about 15 to 20 minutes or until our dough's done. So I'll bring you back once they're out of the oven. Alright guys, our pizza pot pies are out of the oven and I've let them cool for just about 5 minutes. Just enough that they're cool enough I can handle them without hopefully burning myself. So I'm going to start by bringing one of them over and very gently I'm going to flip it upside down into my bowl here. And then I want to go in and loosen the dough from around the edge of my ramekin. I'm going to make sure you go all the way around. Then we're going to take our knife and gently start lifting out our ramekin and hopefully everything falls out of it. Alright guys, there we go with some gentle encouragement. Our pizza pot pie is out of the bowl. And now we can get in here and give it a try and see what we think about it. It smells incredible. Alright guys, let's get in here and give this thing a taste and see what we think about it. I gotta say, it smells so good. Especially when it was cooking. Oh my goodness. Let's get some of that sauce on there. Some of our cheese. A little pepperoni. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This thing is absolutely incredible. All this cheese, and in fact, I think I could have probably gotten away with a couple more slices. I think the original recipe uses about a pound of mozzarella cheese in it. Let's get in here and slice some of this mushroom up and get a little bite of it as well. I love this crust. It is so good. get in there and get a nice big slice here with everything our mushrooms and let's get some of our banana pepper in there mm, mm -hmm. one thing I would definitely do different the next time I make this is just roll my pizza crust out a little bit thinner got a little bit heavy handed with it today but I really enjoy this crust so I'm not mad at it the sauce is really, really good. I like the pepperoni, and I'm glad I chose to do it instead of Italian sausage today. But again, Italian sausage would work just as well in this. The mushrooms have cooked completely, and I like that nice tiny bite that the um, banana peppers bring. It kind of breaks up a little bit of the richness from the sauce. Overall, this is an incredibly delicious dinner, and I hope you guys give it a try soon. Alright guys, you will find this recipe as well as many others over on the Gamers and Geeks playlist. Be sure to go and check it out and help support all the people that have already contributed to that list. If you guys would like to be a part of it, just hit me up down in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to tell you how you too can be part of the Gamers and Geeks playlist. If you guys have enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below. If you guys tried this recipe out, let me know how it turned out for you. 
remember to check out the Gamers and Geeks playlist. I will leave a link down in the description to it. And as always, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I have all girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.